Okay, so I just want to post a quick video. I thought this was a good idea and just want to throw it out there. I'm going out of town for a wedding. I'll be going for five, six days. So I need to make sure that the tank is taken care of and I don't have to worry about stressing about that while I'm out with the wife and having fun. So a couple things that I thought to mention was uh, make this as automatic as automated as you can just for your regular day-to-day -day dealing with the tank so you just enjoy it more. Uh, what I actually did with this tank was I, I made a couple um, timers and then I took the timers off and went to uh, Wi-Fi controlled switches and set timers through them so I can always change it if I want to my phone. So I just want to go through a couple steps of things I've done that I think is perfect for going out of town, going on vacation, uh, and keeping an eye on your tank and not really stressing so much. So. Uh, tank stuff's flying around because I had a bunch of, I just did a last minute cleaning, uh, but I need to get this video up, I'm about to leave. Uh, first thing, uh, everything's on a timer, and all these timers were bought off of a eBay or a Loco, it's called Sonoff, S-O-N-O-F-F, -F, and I actually have this app on my phone, and it is... I think it's this e-link and so what I can do on my phone is I have it my moonlight which is a moon and you can see kind of why I'm doing this I hit the moonlight and it turns it off I have daylight on here I hit the daylight and that turns it off but I don't worry about these because they're on a timer so I don't have to worry about setting these what I do have um, on a timer also is my fish food and you see that's what I have for the fish food and that's one of the automated things I did on a daily basis and make sure that I didn't have to worry about oh, I guess I got a light out okay so all I have this on is a switch but I put I made a rotisserie motor I took the rod stuck it into the back of one of these battery power fish feeders and so I and I just mounted it so what I have to so if I want to feed the fish or I put them on a timer I hit this fish button and it feeds the fish and it's one minute increment so I'm just fortunate that the one minute increment is only one rotation so I do that I have it on the timer you can set timers on I have for that you can see I have one for my dog I can feed my dog from away and then uh, just two more for cameras. So just in case of um, internet go out, I gotta reset them. I just hit the button, turn them off, turn them back on, so then I can always see my cameras. So that's the first thing I did, was just make it automated as possible. I have a, to keep track of it, I have a false cam, night vision, C1, um, HD camera. I just set it up, I did this little quick little tripod thing. I, I'm going to leave this open, because what I actually have is, this was one of the first when I started playing around with it, I have this. And I'm not gonna keep the light on all the time, but what I do is, same idea, you hit the switch. I don't know what that just did, all right. All right, sockets off. Hit the switch, turn the light on. So now I can see into my sump. I don't have to have this light on all the time. So automate it, make it as automated as you can, make it controllable as you can, do whatever you can to try to keep this easy for day to day. Um, when you're away, be able to monitor it with this, this little high HD camera. And I had, the only thing I really had to do to adapt it for me being gone and not here is, I added visual like visual aids like from here you can see really good okay it's filled up to the top it's running uh, this hydrometer I placed this in there as a visual cue through the camera so I can actually see how high the water is and if this auto top off is dumping and if I'm about to run out I could tell somebody go ahead and just unplug it so I don't have to worry about the motor burning out but for the most part, I topped everything off. And this is, this is a false cam. 
I labeled it Aquaman. So this is a false cam view. So this is what I see. You see it's not really too easy to see everything. So what I had to do was do some visual, visual cues like that hydrometer down there. I'll put a little tape there so I know that it's either going down because you can't really see the water line. The only other thing I did was you don't normally run air stones in a tank, but I have this tank set up for um, if the surge protector goes out. I have a surge protector here. If this goes out, then everything shuts down. Everything from here, all the pumps, all the electricity shuts down, but there is a separate plug that runs air for the tank. It has um, motors. Two of these are attached. The air is attached. And I have this as a HCC 1000. And basically what this does is it runs my temperature. It cools it off when it needs to be cooled. Um, it's in Celsius now, but it cools it off when it needs to be cooled. It turns on the heaters when it needs to be heated. So that's another thing. It stops everything from the heaters from sticking on because if it gets too hot, it just cuts the power. And if it gets um, too cold, obviously, vice versa, whatever it is. Um, that's perfect for me. So that's on the that's that's on the switch that has no GFI. So if all the power, if something trips at GFI, everything shuts down. But the temperature can be maintained, the circulation can be maintained, and there's going to be air inside the um, main display. So when I'm home and I don't have to worry about it, I'll be back the next day, blah, 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 something happened, I'll just take that air stone out and I'll worry about it so it's just running like normal. So I think that's it. Um, oh, I will take this sock off because what happens a lot when you have your sock in here, the sock actually fills up with water and it continues to go fill up to the point where um, it takes the water out of this section. And then the auto top off thinks there's water being evaporated. It fills this up, then the sock just keeps taking water out. So it's unnecessary. I have uh, two filter socks down here, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, two filter sponge to catch whatever's coming through. The skimmer, I will let it run. I'm not really worried about anything like that. Uh, what else? Oh, let me show you these. That's what it's called. It's called uh, Sun Off. And it basically, you just put it in between the switch, and now you control it Wi Fi on and off through your phone. And that's the best way. I have those all over the house. I have the cameras. Only other thing I have to worry about is my dog. Um, I have a camera for him. There's two of these all over the house for him, so somebody can watch out, so I go watch him. He normally just sleeps a lot. It's really nothing to really watch, exciting about him, but um, I have my sister coming over for him, and she'll take care of him and make sure he's fed. But his feeding, same idea. I made this little box for him. Basically, all of this, where's that? I put his bowl here. I put his bowl right here. Um, this little box has a cereal dispenser in here so just like my food the um just like the food the fish food feeder i took a what is it called rotisserie motor that you put on your grill and let me show you i took a rotisserie motor that you put on your grill and i put that into the cereal feeder so the cereal dispenser and just like I hit this, if I want to feed them, oh, I guess it needs to be plugged in. So it's not plugged in and you see it says offline. So I could feed my dog when I want to, all I have to do is when we're leaving, I don't have to worry about somebody feeding him on time, I just grab his food, I fill this up, I just fill it all the way up to the top. And then I can press that, it'll feed them for a little bit, it'll stop, I can feed them for a little bit, I can stop, I can feed them how much I want to throughout the day, and I can see that he's eating because I have these um, Foscam C1 cameras HDs all over the place. 
So kind of the same idea. It's just these switches are uh, they're perfect. I don't I uh, fell across them and I thought that's a good idea, but um, I didn't know how how good of an idea it was getting them, so I just grabbed a bunch bunch of them. Let me really quick show you one last thing. I'm trying to be quick, I actually should be leaving now because it's an eight-hour drive. So, uh, what was I going to show you? Oh, it wasn't here. Uh, this switch. So I don't have to leave this on all the time. I don't have to monitor it all the time. The only when I want to look at it, so I turn it off. I'm going to leave this open, and this will obviously be off, um, on and off, and I can make sure through the app, uh, watching through the Foscam app, that it's turning on. And a visual cue, the other one, I'm sorry, that's what it was. The visual cue for the, the monitor is I can see these bubbles on the camera go all the way to the top and then uh, come across. So that at least lets me know that the pump's still running, the circulation's still going, and when these bubbles go up, and they go this way, that I know that the, everything's still functioning normal. So those are just a couple things that I thought I can hurry up and throw in there. Uh, HTC cameras, 1000, HTC 1000 to control the temperature, um, heating and cooling. If the power go out, I made sh the surge protector, I'm sorry guys, the GFI protector gets tripped for whatever reason It'll shut everything down on this tank so there's no fire, but the tank will still survive because it still have air, it'll still have circulation, and it'll still be con the temperature will still be controlled. So make sure that that's on a totally different um, outlet than the GFI. Um, making sure you have your auto water top off so it doesn't run dry. Get some visual cues if your camera's not as good as, or you don't have it that close, or whatever your problem is with that. Uh, and just make it automated. The only other word thing you gotta worry about is your fish eating. If you're gonna be gone for two days, three days, fine. Come back. If you're gonna be longer than that, then just make sure the um, automatic feeder. And I get notifications every time these are going off. So every time the lights turns on, every time the moonlight turns on, every time the, my dog gets fed, every time my fish get fed, it sends me alert to let me know. The only thing is I don't know what temperature it is. Um, I don't have that going to my phone. So I just have to rely on the HTC 1000, which has always been perfect for me. Okay, I didn't want to make this too long, but I just thought that's a good idea. If you're last minute thinking about leaving, know you're going to be leaving. These are some things that's, um, that's definitely going to help me, and I'll let everyone know how it worked out for me. All right.